Hi, I'm Dr. Janet Pope at Room Now. I'd like to talk about abstract 455. This is an interesting abstract because it's talking about reactive arthritis, looking at chronic versus acute. First of all, we and others have published that reactive arthritis is quite uncommon. We think it's decreasing over time. So what this study did was looked at those who had self-limited reactive arthritis and those who were chronic. First of all, the ends are small because it's not very common. And secondly, it is from a database that's looking at seronegative spondyloarthritis um, in uh, Canada. So they had 23 self-limited patients with reactive arthritis and 34 with chronic. And the big differences, no surprise, were those who are HLA B27 positive were more apt to have chronicity. But interestingly, and I guess it would go with it, those with inflammatory back pain were also more apt to have chronicity. What didn't go with it was uveitis or conjunctivitis or other features. So I think what's important to implement in my practice is that if I see someone with chronic reactive arthritis and they have inflammatory sounding back pain, I will make sure I follow them more carefully as some of them will go on to need other DMARDs or uh, biological drugs. Um, so something to think about. We don't see it that much, but it still is an important issue in our practice. Thanks. I'm reporting from At Room Now at ACR 2020 Convergence. Janet Pope. Thank you.